Hey, what's going on, builders? This is the Crow Sama. So, hey, we're going to be jumping right into some news. These are going to be some very big events that are going to be dropping tomorrow. And uh, this is going to be including banners. You got uh, Arena. We got uh, the event mission. So, a lot of little things that we want to cover. And just make sure you're well prepared for these events and not using resources that you otherwise don't really have to use. So, the first thing I want to talk about is going to be the new banner coming out. Okay, so with a new banner coming, that means this past banner, the Gunpla part pickup, this one's actually going to be leaving at the same time the new one's going to be coming in. So this is going to be August 6, 2019, 8 p.m. PDT. So the, whatever time that, that correlates to you and your location, for me, it's going to be on the 7th at 12 uh, p.m. So I, I, you know, I got about another like 16 hours or so before it's actually going to drop. Uh, so I'm I'm still missing the um, I'm missing the actual bar uh, not Barbados I'm missing the the new Gundam's head so that's something I really need to try and maybe get because I kind of gave up on saving just for Exia because honestly right now I'm not too interested in Exia and I do have a feeling that these events as well as the arenas are gonna drop well enough chips for me to go ahead and start trying to pull for Exia. Now it says the period for pickup capsules and their contents are subject to change without notice. Um, just talking about some of the drop rates and everything uh, does not change. Now, here's all the information on the new banner that we have so far. We don't actually have any kind of detailed information on the parts, which is something I really, really like to have. Uh, because I want to analyze the Exia. Now, whenever it does drop, you can kind of look into the actual... Um, the front just like the new you can really examine all the stats uh, but for this you know I, I don't really know how well Exia or Dynamis is going to do we kind of don't even know their rarity I, I'm very much assuming that Exia is at least going to be a four star uh, Dynamis could either be a three star or a four star but I'm guessing just since it's on the banner itself it's probably going to be a four star uh, so these are probably going to be by default really decent uh, mobile suits to get um, you know, just because it's going to be a four star doesn't mean it's like top tier because right now I don't see the Aegis as being like as good as like Barbados or even uh, the new Gundam, but it's still really good on itself. So I'm, I'm really going to be looking at some of these, uh, these, you know, mobile suits and just seeing how they're going to compete with one another within like their default uh, rankings. Now, one thing to note is that once these Gunpla appear, um, they will also appear in the standard Gunpla parts capsule after the Gunpla part pickup capsule period ends. So however long this is going to last, um, they're only going to be in these you know, banners. But then once they go away, hey, you can start getting them in the standard and you actually get that one free ticket per day. So make sure you're using that because I actually did get a Barbados head today on a free standard. So my Barbados is actually complete right now, which is completely fantastic uh the only thing i didn't get i didn't get the um that was this uh the smooth bore uh gun i didn't get that but i do have the mace and i do have the sword so he's to me he's pretty much complete now we are gonna get some new pilots uh we're gonna get jolie and we're also getting char so char asnable man i am super hyped for him i absolutely love char i think he's an amazing character he's really flip-flop throughout his entire time within the uc on like you know bad guy good guy neutral bad guy so he has a very firm stance on what he believes in and i do really appreciate that i mean being the you know the red comet i think that he's going to be a top tier uh i, I want to say he might be an out shooter i don't think he's gonna be anything close to melee he's not gonna touch any of that he's not gonna be defender or in or out fighter um i'm seeing him more as either Nah, he's not going to be supported. He's probably going to be super aggro when it comes to uh, shooting, probably with the bazooka or even the uh, machine gun. So, I mean, we're we, we are going to see what he's going to turn out to be, but I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that he's going to be a primary um, like long-range or even mid-range uh, type of shooter. Now, another thing to note is that the uh, Gundam presentation that they had about five days ago showed off a little bit of a sequence with uh, the Gundam Breaker mobile game that's you know in Japan. It's the same thing as this, just renamed. Uh, but one key note is that they actually shown off two of the new mobile suits that is actually going to be appearing in the new Build Divers Re-Rise series, and that's going to be the Earth 3 and Mars 4. So Mars 4 I'm actually looking forward to, but I don't really like the Earth 3. I don't think it looks that great of a mobile suit, but once again, I didn't see the series yet. I don't really know much about the character. So I'm probably going to have to watch it because I was in the same boat with the double O uh, Diver. I didn't think it looked that good. 
But after seeing it in action, I was like, hey, it's actually a pretty good looking mobile suit. And then hold, hold, you know, handling the Gunpla, I thought it was pretty good as well. So the Gunpla is going to be releasing in October of this year. But I don't, I don't think they actually shown any kind of announcement on when these two suits are going to be dropping. But I want to speculate it's going to be on the first batch of their Gunpla. Because if you do not know, the Sandrock kit, the high grade Sandrock, is going to have an exclusive code in the first batch. So with me being in Japan, best believe I'm buying a Sandrock and I'm gonna be using that code for this game. Now, I don't even like Sandrock, but if Sandrock could potentially be a top tier mobile suit, that's something I wanna go ahead and I wanna get on immediately because it's gonna be coming out, I believe, in the beginning of September and that should be when the new uh, ranks are gonna be coming out. Like, they're gonna reset. So I wanna capitalize early on in the, uh, the arenas and try to get a solidified uh, high ranking as soon as possible. Now, speaking of arenas, so we're going to take a look right here. Um, the arenas is going to be opening tomorrow. It's going to consist of one-on-one -on -one matches only. So this, people have been thinking like, oh, it's going to be like real time. It's not going to be real time. It's actually going to be you versus a custom build from a actual person. But that build is going to be controlled by AI. So what this means for you in particular, not necessarily for you battling, but for you having your own mobile suit, you're going to have to make the strongest mobile suit possible. Because I'm, I'm speculating that if your mobile suit as an AI defeats another opponent that is a real, uh, real opponent, you might be able to get extra points or some kind of extra like scoring system because of that. So you, what you want to do is make sure you have a super, super strong uh, mobile suit that is actually registered in your online registry. Um, don't just like, hey, I'm going to put whatever in there because it doesn't matter. It may matter. We don't really have the information now. We'll have to definitely see when it drops some more. And as some coverage, I will definitely get to all of you. But make sure that you get a, a super strong mobile suit in that slot. Now, it's also saying that it's a tournament held at irregular intervals. I don't know exactly what that means. I've, I've heard that there's going to be like different brackets. And you can only do these brackets about three times a day. And I'm not seeing too much information on this. Um, so it kind of sucks. I really wish they they would elaborate a little bit more on this, but hey, it kind of is what it is. Um, but hey, conditions for joining the arena, you can join by clearing up story mode chapter 3. Just complete chapter 3 and you're golden to get in there. Now it also says take this chance to upgrade your Gumplas. It should be just Gumpla. Uh, in preparation for the competition. Do not do this. Do not just start aimlessly just powering up all your mobile suits. Not even one. Don't touch your mobile suits at all. Don't power anything up. What you want to do is wait for this tournament to drop and gather as much information as possible. Um, I'm going to definitely be here to try and give you as much po um, information as possible so that way you can make a wise decision on what mobile suit is going to be your best bet to actually bring into this arena because we have no idea what's going to be going on. I, I haven't really seen much of screenshots. I've seen like a couple here and there, but it's still not enough information for me to gather so that way I can make a very intelligent decision on what mobile suit I need to bring into this. And you you already know, you're going to see a bunch of Barbados mobile suits. You're going to see some Artemis. You're going to probably see just nothing but new Gundam. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to see a new Gundam with the Rose Arms, uh, more than likely the, um, the, the backpack, uh, legs are probably still going to be new, head's going to uh, still be new, body could be rose because that, that's actually a pretty good body, um, and you're more likely going to see the mace from the Barbados and the original Gundam's beam um, beam rifle because, hey, these EX skills are going to be just destructive, so you got to be prepared for these things, and maybe if you want to make an anti mobile suit to that or if you want to kind of do your own little thing and be rogue, you got to make that decision wisely. Now, when it comes to rewards, it says by participating in arena matches, you can acquire arena points and arena coins. Um, let's see. Uh, acquiring arena points will increase your rank, and you can acquire daily rewards and ranking rewards. You can exchange arena coins at the shop for gumpo parts and items. So, this is what they mean. Uh, basically, with the points, obviously, that's going to unlock certain kind of criteria. It's kind of like in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. If you get so many points throughout uh, an event you unlock different you know, awards the higher points you get. So that's probably going to be the same exact thing with this. Now also, exchanging coins, you all, all you have to do is go to the Exchange tab, which is located in your shop. You go to Coin Exchange. Right now, I just have the Platinum Coin Exchange. Uh, but, I mean, even this, I need, a, I need to start uh, exchanging for some you know, decent stuff. So 
All right, and lastly, we have the newest event that's going to come out tomorrow simultaneously with the banner as well as the arenas, uh, Ultimate Bulls Bullseye Rising Arrow. So this is going to be featuring the Rising Gundam from G Fighter. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Rising Gundam. I don't think it looks that great. It's an okay looking mobile suit. I don't even think this is going to be a four star right out, right at default. I think it might be a three star at default. Um, I mean, we'll definitely see the Rose Gundam is a, is a three star. So I don't know. It's not. It's just I don't know. I don't think this is a very definitive like. It's not a part of the the big um, the Royal Flush. So I don't see this being better than Rose at all. But the event, Ultimate Bullseye Rising Arrow, will begin on 8-6, uh, pretty much tomorrow. Uh, the event mission will have three difficulties, normal, hard, and very hard. The higher the difficulty, the more Bullseye Coins you can acquire. You can uh, exchange Bullseye Coins for items such as Gumpa Parts, Awakening Circuits, and more at the coin exchange within the shop, so the same location I've just shown you. Um, and then, yeah, all the new... Oh, okay, so here we go. Uh, new Gumpa, Exia, and Dynamis is going to be four stars apiece, uh, so my bad for speculating that. Um, Dynamis could be a three star. It's gonna be a four star, but yeah. So this is gonna be coming out tomorrow. And one of the key things is that it, three difficulties: normal, hard, very hard. Right? Um, it, you definitely want to go for very hard, but I don't know what if it's gonna be like the daily uh, missions. If it's gonna be like a 15, 25, 35 kind of uh, energy consumption, but it, you kind of want to consume more energy so that way you can get more coins. Going just for 15 all the time is probably going to render you render you less coins overall, even though you're spending less energy. Because two you know normal missions probably is not going to equal even half of a very hard uh inter like you know reward set. So definitely go for very hard and complete all the tasks at hand. Um, now it also says that you can get Gumpla parts, which obviously is going to be the Rising Gundam. It says Awakening circuits, super important. You want to if, if if they have blue circuits. Grab those right away because that's the only way that you're going to be able to power up a lot of your four stars to five stars because you're going to need six awakening blue just for a four to five star and then three of the gold um, for the five star. So you're going to be needing a lot of these awakening circuits. Get as many as possible. Okay, so one more thing I want to leave you with. So I've been saving as much of my energy recovery little like capsules or whatever they're called, uh, chips. Um, I've been saving as much as I have. Uh, so I have 100% uh, times 2. I have 17 of the 50%. So these are super important because I'm pretty sure for the event, not, not the uh, arena, but for the event, uh, you're going to have to use energy. That's I'm more likely, um, I'm, I'm pretty confident that's going to be the case. So I've been saving on mine, and it it really would be beneficial for you to save all yours as well. I know it's kind of tempting to use it to hurry up and level up as soon as you can. Leveling up is going to come with it. I'm still level 38, but I'm still in a good spot to where I'm probably going to be really competitive in the arenas. I know there's a lot of guys who are in their 40s, 50s, 70s. I've even seen a level 100 already. But I'm not I'm not trying to break the bank um, and just doing free missions for level up. I can gain all those level ups that you just gained if you used all of them in the free missions. I can do all this in the events because there's probably t there might not be any limitation on how many times you can do the event. It's probably just going to be depending on your energy consumption. So I am just 100% going to be dropping all these in the event uh, this month. So. I, I just I absolutely want to try and get the Rising Gundam maxed out as, as you know soon as possible if it's going to be good especially, uh, but also just get as many good uh, awakenings as possible. So once I complete everything I can complete and get all the rewards, then I'll go ahead and stop and I should be a good enough level as it is. But hey, that's all for me guys. Definitely wanted to show you at least a couple of things. Um, you know, definitely, you know, do what you can, uh, power up your stuff if you need to, if you have like level two, you know, four star arms and you just got them, definitely power them up a little bit, but don't break your bank because capital is, is actually a, a fairly scarce, um, resource, Mu just as much as chips in my opinion, you know, if you power up something all the way to level 60 and you start tuning things up, Trust me, you're not going to have a lot of capital left. So be careful when it comes to how you spend. Spend wisely in this game. 
But hey, I hope this was some good information for you. I hope it kind of like enlightened you a little bit on exactly what you need to utilize in these upcoming events tomorrow. Uh, but definitely whenever they do drop, I'm going to be giving an in-depth analysis uh, for each thing for the arenas as well as the events and the new banners. Uh, and then we're also going to do some more analysis on individual mobile suits such as the Astray Green Frame. So that's going to be the next one coming up. Uh, and then you can always let me know in the comment section below what, you, what kind of content do you want to see when it comes to this game. Do you want to see more banner pulls? Uh, do you want to see more missions uh do you want to see the events the arenas that's going to be coming up let me know in the comment section below and make sure you give this uh video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already but that's it for me guys definitely appreciate all of you all of you for watching and i'll be seeing y'all in the next video bye bye